and so I, I struggle to just go up Table Mountain one time, <laughs> once. But there's apparently someone who's planning to do it 24 times in 48 hours. Question is why? Okay, so that's just the start. So we're going to tackle four giants now. In a global climate, I'm not going to just say it's specific to South Africa, where individuals are feeling the weight of the world upon them. There is so much wrong around us at the moment, some soul-destroying de truths that we've all got to come to terms with. So how do we turn that around? How do we start to inspire people? We take on four of the greatest physical challenges that have ever been seen. So we're going to start with summiting Table Mountain 24 times in 48 hours. Okay, and watch him nod his head because uh, some of these details I might get wrong. Um, then we're going to attempt a Guinness World Record um, with one of the highest vertical ascents on a bike that we have ever seen. Then we're going to get up onto our stand up paddleboard and tackle the largest lake in the world. Then we're going to do a speed ascent and descent of Mount Kilimanjaro. Those are our four giants. And the fifth giant is Jamie Maria. Dude, welcome, welcome, Great welcome. To meet you, yeah. ah, you know, we love having people like you on the show because of the way that the world is at the moment. So did I, first of all, get the giants right? Oh, maybe Absolutely. a couple of details wrong there. No, it's all perfect, 100% right. Um, so let's start yeah. with the big question, why? Why? So there's two reasons I'm doing this, two very specific reasons. The first one is to inspire South Africans to realize that no giant is too big to face. I think a lot of South Africans are facing massive challenges in every possible aspect. And, um, you know, the spirit of this whole project is to just inspire people that have lost hope to realize that nothing they're facing, no giant they're facing, is too big to face. And then the second reason is the shocking pink buff, which is Sabri <laughs> Sabrina. Cerise, baby. Cerise. You know, Cerise, uh, <laughs> Sabrina Love Foundation. So Sabrina uh, look after kids with special needs. And the logic was to use my physical ability that I've been blessed with uh, to help those with a physical disability. How do we go about training for something that no one's ever really done before and, yeah. and for very different disciplines and Absolutely. assets? I know obviously you have to take one, you know, each one in its life. It. How have you been training? How have you been preparing for this? I've done a huge amount of running, uh, just stayed very low under the radar. Um, and yeah, I've done about 50,000 vertical meters of, of climbing uh, in the last... A lot of that on the... On well, you can't see it yeah, now, yeah. covered by mist. So it's a lion's head. It's a in, in, in the last four months, I've done about 50,000 vertical meters of climbing just to condition my legs and body for... for I mean, Table Mountain 24 times within a 48-hour period is going to be Everest times two. So I've had to really condition <laughs> my legs for that. And uh, I mean, the other day, about four weeks ago, I actually did a litmus test and I went and set up a little base camp at the bottom of Lion's Head, which is my favorite training ground. And I ran up and down for 12 hours nonstop to see how my body would respond. And I managed 12 summits, obviously at a measured effort, you know, trying to get a balance between not burning all the fuel. And uh, yeah, 12 times in uh, 12 hours up and down Lion's Head. So the funny thing is how your body kicks in after six to eight hours. At six hours, I was broken, and at eight hours, my mind body and mind over. kicked in. Yeah. Yeah, I felt great. Um, yeah. Lastly, we have to obviously mention the fact with I think the biking you've got down, you know, you've got the cycling experience, the stand up paddle boarding, hopefully, no uh, crocs or hippos. Crocs. <laughs> on that note, I do want to say so, Lake Tanganyika has got the largest crocs in the world. It's got 20 foot crocs, and uh, Ivan van Fieren, uh, one of my best mates from Signature Surf, is actually building a special 17 foot. A stand up pedal board. Armor plated. And I've said, please make sure it's crop resistant. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll get through. And I had three kids, I'd love to see them again. But uh, that's going to be a challenge. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and, I mean, we could talk for hours. So we're going to bring you in, I think, ahead of every one of these challenges before you do them. Um, but of course, we have to add condolences. You mentioned, uh, I've seen my Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I just want to really offer my heartfelt uh, condolences, you know, to the family of Googs and his wife. And, uh, you know, I think. The reality is life is short. I mean, whether whether you whether you die 20, 30, 40, or 50, it's short in the greater scheme of things. Sure. And I think we need to just learn from the way he lived his life and make the most of every day. And the question is, if you if you knew that you only had two years left to live, what would you do differently? 100%. Well, I think you've got a lot of people asking that question right now. Thank you so much. And good luck, dude. Don't Thank break you. a leg. Don't <laughs> break a leg. But awesome, Thank inspiring so much, stuff. Yeah. Let us know what you think of this man. and Go and support his cause. You can hit us up on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page.